I'm Ryan O'Dowd, and you're listening to Ryan's Audiobooks on the Issues Magazine YouTube channel. Today we're continuing with Section 1014, Adam from the Son of Knowledge, by Lex Hickson Nur al-Jarahi. We're picking up in Chapter 6, Salawat and Hadith. Divine Presence The beautiful light of guidance, Nur Muhammad, upon him be peace transmits these words directly from the Most High. O my humble servants, no being receives guidance except from me. No being receives nourishment except from me. No being receives protection except from me. The first light of eternity, the Muhammadan light, speaks these words directly from the source of light. O oh, my servants, you will never be able to harm or to benefit me by your thoughts or your actions. No amount of devotion or worship can increase the sublimity of my kingdom. No amount of negation or rebellion can decrease the sublimity of my kingdom. Were I to offer every conscious being everything it requested, this could not diminish the abundance of my kingdom any more than dipping a needle into the ocean diminishes its depth. The intimate beloved of Allah reveals these astonishing words directly from his most precious Lord. When I intensely love one of my servants, I alone become the hearing with which he hears, the seeing with which he sees, the hands with which he grasps, and the feet with which he walks. For such a servant to request absolutely anything of me, I would instantly grant it. The beloved messenger, to whom Allah Most High addresses the words, but for you I would not have created the universe, reports this promise directly from the Lord of the universe. Whenever they mention me with love, I am with my devoted servants completely. The light whose earthly crystal remains a fountain of radiance in Medina, the illumined, reveals. No persons can gather reverently in any house of Allah, reciting, studying, and meditating sincerely upon the Book of Allah, without infinite peace descending upon them, infinite mercy enveloping them, ranks of radiant angels surrounding them, and Allah Most High mentioning them with love to the beautiful souls who are nearest Him. The Prophet of Love transmits these divine words that flow directly from the source of love. If I love one of my servants intensely, I summon Archangel Gabriel and say I love this servant, so you too must love and support him. Then the Archangel speeds throughout the heavenly realms crying, Allah Most High loves this servant, so all of you must love and support him. Thereafter, profound love for this particular servant of Allah is gradually established among the beings on earth. The overseer of the tumult of universal resurrection, peace be upon him, relates these words directly from Allah. On the day of resurrection I will call out where are those who love one another through my divine glory alone and for the sake of my glory alone. Today I am offering them refuge and sweet refreshment in my shade, for this is a day on which there is no shade but my shade. The essence of paradise, the beloved Muhammad upon him be peace, reveals these joyous words directly from his Lord. I have prepared for my loving servants what absolutely no created eyes have seen, what no ears have heard, and what has never been imagined by any heart. So, recite with true fervor the noble Quranic verse. No soul can know what spiritual delight hath been secretly prepared as the divine response to its earthly life of goodness. The Sultan of Lovers, upon him be peace, reveals this ultimate mystery. The Most High will ask the persons of paradise, Are you content? They will reply, Yes, Lord, for you have granted us what has not been granted to any other of your countless creatures. The Most High will then continue, 
Would you like to experience an even more exalted spiritual station? I will cause my own good pleasure to descend upon you and abide within you. I shall never be displeased by your slightest thought or action. The divine messenger who inaugurates the completion of revelation upon him be peace states with certainty. Now the divine pen has been lifted and the pages have dried. Brothers and sisters, let us chant together the essence of the Quran, the mother of the book, the noble Surah Fatiha. That concludes chapter 6. Now I'm moving on to chapter 7. Lightning flashes. Lightning flashes. Tasting is a mystical term synonymous with unveiling. The clarified honey of prophecy must be tasted in our mouths. Divine light must be nakedly perceived by the eyes of the heart. These particular verses, in some cases fragments of verses, were favored by the consummate sheikh Ibn Arabi. The present English versions reflect his unveiling or tasting of the original revelatory Arabic. His full expansion of their meanings can be found in the marvelous book by William Chittick, The Sufi Path of Knowledge. Attempting to give some overview of the Quranic vision, I have arranged these verses thematically. The selections are called lightning flashes because they open beautiful dark clouds of essential meaning, drenching the intellect with life-giving rain. Understood intellectually, these verses remain just brilliant flashes like heat lightning that does not bring rain. To be fruitful, they must occur within the clouds that gather in the sky of the heart during the storm of love. These renderings, these renderings are on the level of tafsir or interpretation. Seven, lightning flashes, verses favored by the people of tasting. Prophet Muhammad. Those who harmonize their whole being with the Messenger of Allah are harmonizing and unifying with Allah. Quran 4.80 The Messenger of Allah is the most beautiful pattern and empowerment for the holy way of life. Quran 33.21 Proclaim, O beloved Muhammad, I am calling everyone to Allah through clear insight and direct experience, and so will those who follow in my spiritual lineage. Quran 12.108 Pray with your entire being, my beloved, O precious Lord, increase and advance me in spiritual states and mystical knowledge. Quran 20.114 Spiritual Guides One of our true spiritual servants, to whom we have granted divine mercy directly and taught divine knowledge mystically, Quran 18.65 We divinely raise whomever we please to higher and higher degrees of wisdom. Quran 12.76 The prophets and Gnostics received Allah's direct inner guidance. Renew within yourselves the guidance they received. Quran 6.90 Those who are always transcending, who are the foremost lovers, abide intimately near to Allah within the blissful garden of essence. Quran 56.10-12 Their soul's light will race before them, emerging from the right side of their being. Quran 66.8 Rivers of mystic wine, sheer bliss for those who drink there. Quran 47.15 Those who mystically bear the divine throne and those who circle it in glorious praises to their Lord are completely immersed in Allah, crying out for the divine forgiveness of all beings. Quran 40.7 The Nature of Allah 
Every day and every instant, Allah shines forth as new spiritual states and new cosmic creations. Quran 55.29 Allah warns you about the inconceivability of his essence. Quran 3.28 Nothing at all resembles Allah, yet Allah alone is the one who is seeing and hearing. Quran 42.11 Allah is the sole illumination of heavenly planes and earthly realms. Quran 24.35 Behold how all beings and events are constantly returning home to Allah. Quran 42.53 Allah is first and last, imminent and transcendent, manifest and unmanifest. Quran 57.3 The all-knowing mercy of Allah. Allah is ceaselessly all-pardoning and absolutely all-forgiving. Quran 4.99 Allah's mercy embraces every being and event without exception. Quran 7.156 Allah will completely transform all negativity into goodness. Quran 25.70 There is no conscious being who does not continuously praise the divine glory. Most persons simply cannot recognize or comprehend the universal praise directed toward Allah. Quran 17.44 Allah alone creates you moment by moment, including whatever you think, and whatever you do. Quran 37.96 Not a single leaf falls without Allah's knowledge, permission, and empowerment. Quran 6.59 O Lord, you alone embrace all beings and events in mercy and knowledge. Quran 40.7 A spiritual path. Remain constantly in profound awe of Allah, and Allah will teach you directly. Quran 2.282 Give glorious praises to Allah, who absolutely transcends what any finite being can conceive or describe. Quran 23.91 the ultimate source now speaking is nearer to the human being than its own central vein. Quran 50.16 In whatever direction or dimension you may turn, there is only the essential face of Allah. Quran 2.115 Affirm with your whole being, reality is now fully manifest and unreality has totally vanished, for unreality, by its very nature, must vanish. Quran 17.81 Everything is annihilated except Allah's essential face. Quran 28.88 When my servants ask you, O beloved, concerning my reality, I am already intimately near to them. I listen and respond instantly to the prayerful call of whoever calls. Quran 2.186 Proclaim, O beloved, call upon the only reality as Allah or Rahman, or with any of the beautiful divine names revealed to humanity, for all these names belong to one reality alone. Quran 17.110 Keep prayerful vigil late into the night as an additional discipline, and Allah may raise you to the sublime station of constant praise. Quran 17.79 There is no one who does not have a divinely appointed spiritual station. Quran The Process of Revelation
<clears throat> Our only divine speech to any being or event we will to create is the word of power B, and it spontaneously comes to be. Quran 36.82 You do not throw when you throw, but Allah alone throws. Quran 8.17 Allah taught Adam the divine names as the fundamental nature of creation. Quran 2.31 Allah has created humanity as the being with the most sublime spiritual stature in creation. Quran 95.4 Allah, who is infinite mercy, has generated the cosmic Quran has created and exalted humanity, and has revealed all possible meaning to purified human intelligence. Quran 55.1-4 Every being in existence is revealed and contained in the cosmic Quran. Quran 6.38 Allah reveals divine signs to humanity both on the horizons of the universe and within the inner regions of the heart, mind, and soul, so the realization will dawn that Allah alone is real. Quran 41.53 With Allah alone are the keys of the unseen, the treasures that no one knows but Allah. Quran 6.59 There is nothing and no one whose inexhaustible treasures are not hidden within Allah. Quran 15.21 Covenant, mystic vision, end of time, resurrection. Am I not your Lord? Yes, we witness to it. Quran 7.172 O precious Lord, reveal yourself to me, that I may gaze directly into your essential face. Quran 7.143 You will perceive the vast mountains that you imagined to be permanent dissipate like clouds in the open sky. Quran 27.88 The entire planetary plane will shine with the ineffable glory of its creator and beloved Lord. Quran 39.89 That's the end of chapter 7. The next chapter is called Three Days of Prayer. Three Days of Prayer This selection of noble Quranic verses emerged from the communal practice of Ramadan during its intensified final ten days. A child born in the holy month is considered to be specially blessed. So it is with a spiritual child of divine light such as the present composition. There, this is no mere compilation. Each time the glorious Quran is chanted, it is revealed anew by Allah Most High. There are two poles of the Islamic week. Friday, the day of Allah, begins Thursday at sunset and contains the universal congregational noon prayer or Juma. This gathering of Muslims across the planet provides a mystical reflection within time at the end of time, when lovers of truth will gather under the green banner of praise belonging to Muhammad the Messenger, upon him be peace. The second pole of the week, Monday, which ends at sunset, is the day of the Prophet's birth. I selected these 120 verses to mark 40 cycles of prostration each day during the three days of the week that contain both its spiritual poles, which are like the foci of an eclipse. Certain constellations of Quranic themes are indicated here by titles, yet the full range of Quranic vision is condensed during these 15 periods of prayer. The verses are not meant to be studied, but prayed. These renderings are on the level of taf, seer, or interpretation. 8. Three Days of Prayer Thursday sunset to Monday afternoon 
We will always make this supremely simple and direct spiritual way joyously easy for you. The Holy Quran, 87.8 Surah Fatiha By our ceaselessly invoking the divine name, Allah Most High, who is tenderly compassionate, infinitely merciful, may perfect praise flow to Allah alone, lover and sustainer of all worlds. He is most intimately called Rahman and Rahim. He presides magnificently over the day of divine evaluation. O Lord, we worship only you and rely upon you alone. Reveal your direct path, the mystic way of those who have received and truly assimilated your sublime guidance, those who never wander from the spiritual path and therefore never experience your awesome correction. Quran 1.1-7 Ayat al-Kursi Allah alone There's no divinity or reality apart from Him, the Living One, absolutely self-manifesting and timeless. His divine awareness never sleeps. All heavenly and earthly planes of being belong solely to Him. Only those whom He mysteriously permits can intercede before Him. He alone knows past and future. No one can grasp any of this panoramic divine knowledge except as He wills. The mysterious throne of its presence extends over every heavenly and earthly dimension as he effortlessly creates, protects, and preserves all manifestation. He is the Most High, the Supremely Glorious. Quran 2.255 Asma al-Husna There is no awareness apart from Allah, the all-encompassing divine awareness, who knows whatever is secret or open and who is infinitely gracious and merciful. There's no divinity apart from Allah Most High. Divine sovereignty, divine holiness, divine peace, divine faithfulness, divine protection, divine magnificence, supreme and sole reality. Allah is incomparably glorious, free from any division or duality ascribed by the conventional mind. Allah alone is creator, evolver, diversifier. To him alone belong all the beautiful divine names. Simply by existing, whatever exists in heavenly and earthly realms declares perfect praise of his gloriousness. He alone is supremely exalted and supremely wise. Quran 59.22-24 Thursday Sunset Prayers Entering Paradise Reclining on green cushions, seated upon rich carpets, Surrounded by the most intense divine beauty, how could anyone ignore or deny the infinite generosity of the Lord? Quran 55.76-77 For your beautiful lifetime of goodness, can there be any less reward than sheer divine goodness? How could anyone ignore or deny the infinite generosity of the Lord? Quran 55.6061 you will recognize upon their clear faces the magnificent splendor of divine bliss. Quran 83.24 Those who cultivate profound faith, constantly demonstrating righteousness and sanctity, are true companions in the mystic garden where they timelessly abide. Quran 2.82 For them is reserved the abode of peace, in the direct presence of their Lord, who will manifest as their most intimate and beloved friend because they lived truly. Quran 6.127 Thursday Night Prayers Exploring Paradise, the Night of Power Those who are ever transcending, who are foremost among ecstatic lovers, abide in the blissful garden of essence, intimate nearness with Allah. Quran 56.10-12 Behold the radiant assembly of truth, meeting timelessly in the direct presence of the omnipotent Sultan. Quran 54.55 Among these supreme lovers is passed a holy cup from the fountain of divine clarity. Quran 37.45 Souls here call for and spontaneously receive every kind of nourishing spiritual fruit as they abide in perfect peace, integrity, and sanctity. Quran 44.55 We first divinely revealed luminous verses from this glorious Quran, 
during the most sanctified night, for we long eternally to offer our compassionate divine warning. On that mystic night outside time, every facet of the infinite divine wisdom is made clear. Quran 44.34 We begin to unveil our universal message during the night of power. How can its potency be described or conceived? This single night is spiritually more intense than a thousand months, than an entire life of prayer. During this hidden night, by the mysterious permission of their Lord, angelic guides and the archangel of revelation descend freely into all hearts. Divine peace completely pervades creation until dawn. Quran 97.1-5 We shall remove entirely from the blessed hearts of the lovers every conscious or unconscious sense of rancor or injury, and they will be spiritual compatriots in paradise, facing each other timelessly on thrones of ecstasy, untouched by any sense of limitation or instability. Quran 15.47-48 The only song in the Garden of Bliss will be Glory to the Allah Most High. The only greeting there. May divine peace be upon you. But constant prayer here. May perfect praise be offered eternally to Allah alone, lover and sustainer of all worlds. Quran 10.10 Some persons irrationally prefer the fleeting life of this world, but paradise is inconceivably more excellent and absolutely enduring. Quran 87.16-17 To the sanctified soul, Allah Most High communicates intimately. My beloved soul who has attained perfect peace and conscious fullness, return now mystically into your Lord. Joining your spiritual delight with an infinite divine delight, Enter now into the circle of my most exalted lovers. Enter now into the paradise of my very essence. Quran 89.27-30 To Allah alone belong east and west. In whatever direction or dimension you may turn, there is only the essential face of Allah, who is all-encompassing and all-knowing. Quran 2.115 those who constantly cherish only intense longing to encounter the essential face of their Lord will attain complete realization. Quran 92.20-21 Your most precious Lord is sheer oneness. There is absolutely no reality apart from Allah Most High, who is ceaselessly generous, infinitely merciful. Quran 2.163 Friday morning prayers. The allness of Allah. Alif Lam Mim. Allah alone. There's absolutely no reality apart from the one and only reality. The living one, the self-manifesting one, the timeless one. Quran 3.1-2 Do not call out to any apparent power apart from Allah, for there is only one. All existence is annihilated except Allah's essential face. His alone is the divine command B. To him alone, all being ceaselessly returns home. Quran 28.88 All that exists upon earth or anywhere within time will perish, while the essential face of your Lord abides timelessly, radiant with majesty. How can anyone ignore or deny the infinite generosity of the Lord? Quran 55.26-28 Affirm with your whole being, true reality is now completely manifest, and all that is false and unreal has vanished utterly, for unreality by its very nature must vanish. Quran 17.81 Thus concludes section 10-4 of Adam from the Son of Knowledge by Lex Hickson Nur Al Jarahi. We're closing in chapter eight now, and we will pick up next time in chapter eight again with Friday morning prayers. I will see you then. Alam.